My guys, it is finally here. Finally here. Finally. What's going on guys it's your boy leo and i am back with another video so finally after waiting for months our denali grill is here for our 2022 sierra right now we're gonna get to taking it all apart getting that grill installed on there lower valence everything to match and i just want to give you guys one last look at this front end i don't really like this grill at all i don't like how this piece is color match it just makes the grill look a lot smaller you know we want that big face on there we want that lower valence without that plate we want it all to look nice and clean this is the last look you get at it. Right now we're gonna take it all apart. Get this grill on here, man. Check it out, this thing is beautiful. And we did go with black chrome so we can match the scheme of the truck, maroon and black. And we also got this piece color matched. It used to be chrome. That way everything can match nice up there. Let's get to it. Got you guys set up on the tripod. Let's go ahead and open the hood on this thing. And this truck just hit a thousand miles guys i've only had it for about six months i haven't even drove it this thing is like new but we're gonna start off by taking this off start taking off this plastic and then we're gonna move on to the grill let's get to it i also have to remove a little hood latch extension in order for this big plastic to come out this this comes out after that so step number one is done now we're going to be removing these side moldings right about halfway we just got to pop them out that way we can access this big plastic get this big plastic out of there then we can get to the grill <music> once you got this one popped out there's a little screw right here we got to remove this screw and then we could pull this piece out kind of tricky right here with the clips but you guys got to be super careful because it could break got this plastic off it just has a bunch of clips right here bunch of clips right here right here you just got to pull it pull it hard it's super tricky to take this off as you can see it has a bunch of clips on the back you gotta pull all those out Well, we got it out guys now we got to take off the grill we got some bolts right here bolts up here right here all right here the usual and then we're gonna throw this baby on now we're ready to put on the new grill yes sir the new grill comes with everything it comes with the little water hose it comes with the cable for the camera all we got to do is plug it in over there and here's a look at the truck without the front end <laughs> this one we're gonna have to unplug it plug in the new one and yeah guys we're about ready to throw on the new grill throw everything back on i got the grill on there i was just making sure that the camera was working and everything we also got the camera washer in there and guys this thing looks amazing i cannot wait to see it put back all together i've been waiting for this moment <laughs>
check it out. We got the truck put together in the front. Right now, I went ahead and took off the side moldings all the way. Now, I just got to pull these out carefully. Uh, put them back on the moldings and then just clip the moldings back on. That's the easiest way to do it so you won't break any clips. Just slide them down. Pull them and slide them down at the same time and they'll come right out. You won't break anything. But yeah, guys, here it is with the new grill. It looks like a whole nother truck. I love it. Hey, mama. What do you think of the truck? Good? Thumbs up? Good? <laughs> Damn, guys, this thing looks beautiful. Beautiful? Like you? And now I got this side put back together. Uh, really quick, I want to show you guys how to put the fender flares back on. So what you're going to do in order to take these clips out, you're going to take off your fender liner screws, just the ones right here. And then you can pull this down. You can put your hand back there. And all you got to do is pinch it. Let's see if I can do it with one hand. Pinch it. And there it goes. <laughs> so easy as that. You just go do the same thing all around. And then you can put all these clips back on your flare. And all you got to do is pop your flare back in. So that's what I'm doing right now. I just want to show you guys so you can know. Little trick. And you don't got to break your clips or none of that nonsense. Now we have all of our clips in. And man, I really wish these trucks came out like this. Just smooth all the way down. We wouldn't have to worry about these damn flares or none of this stuff. But it is what it is. So this one, we're going to start putting it on from over here. And just make sure that everything lines up. All the little clips line up with the holes. Because we only got one shot at this. We got to put it on right. If it doesn't go on right, then the clips are going to get stuck all over again, and you got to do it all over again. There it is. Back to normal. And it sucks because I am going to have to take these back off again to get them painted. Cause this black bothers me a lot. It just makes the wheel wheels look a lot bigger. There so we have the truck all back together back to normal with the new grill now what i have to do i have to pull it out and um, we have to get up under we got to lift it up but i'm going to do that over there because we don't want to mess up our floor with the jack obviously i'm going to pull it out we're going to get up under there we're going to take off that lower valence get the other one installed right now i got to bring it from the other shop open it up and everything and see what we're going to do with that but other than that man this thing looks beautiful i am super happy with the way it looks it looks like a whole nother truck and like I was saying, we still got to get these painted. We're going to be painting these maroon to match the truck. She's coming along, guys. So, yeah, right now, let's get it pulled out. We got to pull out the Razor, the Coyote. Got to move this truck around so we can get this one out. For those of you that are new, this is my Razor build on 24-inch 4G Autos. With the spinning caps, but right now, they're stuck. <laughs> That sand gets him stuck. That motherfuckers do spin. But right now they don't. Alright, I'm gonna turn it on. We can pull it out. Um this thing sounds sick. I am missing a piece right here. Man, this racer is all over the place, guys. Like every time I go drive it, I act the fool. I get drunk, act the fool. I mean that's what it's for, right? But we got the screen and everything up in there sound system custom seats snorkels i'm missing another piece right here um this thing's about to go back into the shop i'm about to redo the whole thing i'm actually thinking about getting rid of the setup and going low and wide leave this thing like for the street because they just get too torn up out there let's turn it on
Got the tuner. Somewhere in here. Got the tuner. I think I'm going to be switching the setup on this thing. I'm going to get rid of these wheels, rid of these portals. We're going to do a stance build, low and wide. And I'm probably going to make it street legal. We'll see. But yeah, it's probably going to be up for sale soon. We need some 14 whites, 24 14s, 4G autos, of course. And I want to leave this thing for the street, man. I think that would be very fun. We can make some vlogs, street riding. I am going to be getting another one for Crosby, probably a Pan Am, but I'm going to leave it alone, you know, just to tear it up in the trails. But this thing is a monster. I don't know yet. I do want to leave it alone, but then I want to switch it up. I'm still undecisive. We'll see what I do. But we do have to get it repainted ASAP. Get those new parts that is missing. Got the sparkles. And yeah, right now it needs a real good wash, a real good detail, a real good polish. Damn guys, I love my Razor, that thing is a blast. Um, I don't know what I wanna do with it yet. I don't know if I'm gonna leave it tall, if I'm gonna drop it. I really do wanna drop it, like I said, make it street legal, all that. Cause you know, it's just too much beating over there at the park. I know that's what they're made for, but it's just, it's just a beating, you know? I'd rather have something nice to creep in the street, maybe take to meets, take to shows. And I think I'm gonna do it, man. I'm gonna see what's up. Uh, for now, I do have to get it repainted. Uh, just get everything touched up make that thing look on point again and i'll keep you guys updated with whatever i decide right now let's go pull out the coyote the giveaway truck let it get some sun OG 2.0 to get fixed. It should be fixed tomorrow. Uh, it just has a little oil leak. It's leaking oil. It needs a new gasket. You guys know it's always something with these older trucks, but we're going to get this thing on point. I cannot wait to make a video for you guys of this truck. Clean it up. Get it right. Tomorrow, Velasquez is going to come polish the wheels on it. And uh, it should be getting fixed tomorrow as well. So y'all stay tuned for the next vlog. We're going to go buy some new headlights for it, some tail lights, you know, all the little main things that we always do. And um, this thing's going to look a lot different. But right now, we can't turn it on. We can't do nothing because it doesn't have any oil. It literally spilled it all. That's crazy. And um, right now, I'm just going to push it, get it out the way. We can take the Sierra out. Y'all stay tuned for the next one, man. It's going to be for the OG 2.0. Can't wait to get this thing right. Looking good. OG 2.0 coming soon, guys. I am so excited. I cannot wait to slam this thing. Uh, drop a like if you're ready, man.
so I'll excuse the mess, but we got the new lower valence all set up right here with the color match piece. This thing looks super clean. I cannot wait to see it on the truck. Right now I gotta get up under there and take out about a thousand bolts so that lower valence can come out. And then we're gonna be throwing this one in there. And yeah, this is just gonna set it off for real. Right now I'm in the process of removing the lower valence. I just took this piece out. There was a bunch of bolts right here. And um, this is going to be a little bit more time consuming, so I'm going to do all this off camera. I'll show you guys in the next video, but um, I got to take out all them bolts. And yeah, this is how the truck came out with the new grill. It looks amazing. It's going to look a lot better with the lower valence and everything. Also, guys, don't forget to get entered in our current giveaway truck, our 2021 F-150, my personal. This thing is beautiful. Go get entered down below. This thing could be yours for only $10. Go get your tickets. Link in the description. And the day is getting closer, man. Someone's going to come pick this truck up. Or I'm going to deliver it to you. It depends. Whoever wins it, we're going to see. I'll deliver it to you. I'll take it to your doorstep. We'll make a vlog and everything. We're going to do everything right, man. And this truck is going to one of you. Make sure you get entered. This thing is beautiful. I am going to be doing some more upgrades on this truck. Big screen, new steering wheel, a lot of little details on the interior. For now, go get entered. Get your tickets down below. That is going to be it for this video, guys. The truck looks amazing with the new front end. I can't wait to see it all complete. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.